Hey guys, it's Garrett here. I wanted to do a video on front of center of an arrow. Now I've came out with a video on testing my new arrows that I made, this one right here actually, and how to put them together and stuff. And this kind of seemed like the next logical step in arrow flight. Now what front of center is, and the best way I can break this down to you, and there's multiple benefits uh, to, to having a higher FOC of an arrow, but basically what an FOC tells you is your arrow getting pulled through the air or is it getting pushed through the air? Now the best way I can, I, I can show you this is, is if my finger is a twig and here's my arrow in the air and I hit that twig, is it going to go through the twig basically with little deflection or with my weight in the back with a low FOC, is it going to hit that twig and then is it going to go like that or go like this or whatever? Basically, can you shoot through and get good penetration and cut through wind and brush? Or is your arrow just skipping off and kind of going like that? Now, what most people like for FOC when it comes to elk hunting and stuff is 12 to 15 percent, and some guys are even as high as 20 and over 20. Now, for me, from what I, my experience, from what I like, and I've had good success with this with my bow, I'm shooting this arrow at 290 to 292 feet per second. It's about a 425 grain arrow. I have 8% FOC, which is relatively low to what most hunters use, but I'm having good pass-throughs at 70 yards and my arrow's sticking in the dirt when it comes out. And, and that's more than enough energy if you put it in that pump house, whatever you shoot is going to die. And it's going to die relatively fast. So um, this is just what I shoot. I have really good success with this. It's a lower FOC, but like I said, just find out what works for you. This is what I like. I could put a heavier grain um, broadhead on here and probably get up to 10% or put a heavier insert and then get more weight up front and I could even get to 15, 20 to 12 if I really wanted to. But this arrow shoots so darn good, I don't know why I'd switch. And I'm getting such good penetration at those longer ranges that I'm not gonna switch. This is what I go with and I found what works for me. So this is how you find your front of center. And there's a big, uh, there's a big debate on, on, on weight versus FOC. I'm not gonna get into the weeds on that. I'm just gonna show you how to find your FOC and then, then help you determine uh, what is what what are you going to use and what percentage do you like so here's how you find FOC of your arrow okay, so this is how you find your FOC of your arrow now first step is to get the exact arrow you're going to be hunting with and, and which includes the type of knock and the broadhead and I have a nocturnal sitting here because I'm going to find the FOC after I'm done doing this with that knock but um, this is you want to use the exact setup you're going to be using when you're hunting so that includes the knock and the broadhead. You're gonna measure from the very tip to tip, and then you're gonna take that measurement and divide it by two. So what you're doing is you're finding the center of your arrow. Now I've already got mine marked right here, and what I do is I just run a Sharpie around it, and using the arrow spinner makes it really easy. You just hold the Sharpie right here, and you just uh, spin it around like that. And then you have a uh, easy point of um, middle that you can see here. Then the second thing you're going to do is you're going to take the arrow and you're going to balance it and um, make it sure it's a fine, I like to use my finger, it's just quick and easy, but um, let's see, there's the balancing point here. So what I do is I would take my marker, I'd take the exact spot that it's balanced and I'd mark it. Just a little mark, put it on my arrow spinner and then wrap it around. So I got a clear point where my center of balance is. Now, then what you're going to do is you're going to take the points between the center of balance and the middle of your arrow, and you're going to measure that. So for this, it would be right at, conveniently, two and a quarter inches exactly. And you're going to take that two and a quarter inches, and you're going to divide it by the total length of your arrow. Mine's two and, uh, 28 and a quarter inches. And then that's going to give you that number there. Okay. Now to find, just to easily convert that to your FOC, times that by 100. And that turns into 7.96%, almost 8%. Now that's pretty low. Um, I, I will admit that's lower than a lot of guys want to be at. <clears throat> I was really hoping mine was going to be higher. But if I put a 125 grain tip on there, that'll really increase it and probably one and a half to two percent um, optimistically and I'll get up to close to ten percent um, FOC which is pretty good a lot of guys like I said want to be around twelve to fifteen some guys even well over twenty 
it really depends on what you want to shoot, how you want to shoot it, and what arrow and everything. But um, this arrow um, has no problem penetrating deep or, or going f uh, full pass-throughs at 70. I've killed plenty of animals with this arrow, um, this exact pretty much setup right here. And it uh, has no problem um, getting enough penetration for me or getting pass-throughs at 70 yards, which is, which is plenty far to shoot. Now, will I shoot through brush as good as the next guy if I had to? No. If a guy had, you know, 15 to 20 FOC, he'd probably fly better um, or pass through the brush better. Um, he might get a little bit more penetration, but again, you're splitting hairs. Um, it also depends on the weight of your arrow and everything. So I'm not going to get into a huge debate here because the guy really could, you know, um, the weight versus FOC debate. But um, that is how you find your FOC. You know, all you needed was a marker or measuring tape and a calculator. And now you're well on your way to measuring your FOC and seeing where you're shooting. So hopefully this video helps you guys uh, figure out what you're going to be using for hunting. Now if you added this nocturnal here and you added that extra 12 grains in the back, this is 9, this is about 22, 21. Um, you add that extra grain in the back, you're going to lower your FOC by like 1 to 1.5 one and, and you'd be really low FOC. Now you'd offset that by adding a 125 grain tip. So if you want to increase your FOC or your front of center, just make the uh, the tip heavier. You can put a heavier insert in there, or you can make a heavier. You can put a heavier um, broadhead on there. There's a lot of things you could do. You don't have to, um, you know, overthink it or anything. It's just adding more weight up front. So uh, hopefully that helps, and I uh, will see you on the next video. Have a good one.